Hello everyone, and welcome back to Deathloop. So, last time we managed to actually unlock the ability to infuse our gear. We also took out Weenja. Um, and this time, we're just going to start kind of following down some leads, seeing what we can do. I'm going to start off with bumping off Harriet, just because it sounds like there's information about both Harriet and Frank. Um, so we can try and get two birds with one stone, or at least some info on how to take out both of them. So let's go ahead and we are going to jump straight on in. And hopefully we can start actually unlocking some slabs too. Um, that would be pretty good just because we don't have any yet outside of our reprise. We picked up the the blink one. I forget what it was called, but we lost it unfortunately because we didn't actually have the ability to infuse yet. So hopefully we can get a slab, infuse it, and then we will have one going forward. Hey Juliana, I infused myself a gun. Might infuse some trinkets. I might infuse a slab. Uh -huh. What's your point? That I figured out how to infuse things. You think this is the first time? When did you crack that shit on day seven? Then why'd I have to do it again? It's got something to do with memory. Stuff you can't recall just sort of slips away. Fuck! Why do you even like this place? Because it is amazing! It's the only amazing place in an entire world of shit. You'll see it eventually. All I see is me one step closer to breaking this fucking loop. You always come around, cult. And that's when the real fun begins. Alright, um, this is the area I know the least because I'm, I don't even know if we've actually visited this area before. Well, we are going loud, it would appear. It, stealth is hard in this game, I'm not gonna lie. Um, have not had the best of luck with it. Oh, here's the other door. Probably should have taken this one if we were going this way. But yeah, so far, not the greatest luck. Oh, crap. Um, a couple of Eternalists have afternoon plans to loot the crashed seaplane. Some Eternalists plan to plunder the plane lying in the ice. So if they have afternoon plans, then we should plunder it in the morning. Dang, I'm getting close to dying already. Get away from the grenade if we can. Okay, so they're planning on plundering that plane? Is there ice or something so that way I can actually get over there? Oh gosh, I really need health. Um, here, let's absorb up some residium. Oh wow, that was a lot of residium all at once. Ah, crap. Well, there goes one death. I. Oh, right, right. My residium goes on my body. I forgot that. I was wondering how I had lost it. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Oh my gosh, look at all those. Well, I guess we're just gonna slowly pick them off one by one. Or shoot the roof, that's an option too. Oh god, it's like pushing me off of the roof. I think I'm sliding or something. Um, Okay, where was I getting shot from? This guy over here. Alright. Let us take them out. Then I think that is everyone for the most part. Music is still playing, so there's still somebody out there, but we can gun them down if it comes to it. Anyways, let us slide on down here. We will collect our residium. I also wanted to read this. Where the balls are you, man? We said before dawn, but what's that right there in the sky? Oh, it's the fucking sun. That means- God, just let me read, people, please. God, they are being annoying. Uh, 
Oh, it's the fucking sun. That means it's passed on. Anyway, I'm getting some bolt cutters and a pry bar. You see that plane? We're going to wait until the water ices up, and then we're going to heck and crack it open and see what we find. So swing back th by this afternoon, and I swear if you're not here, I'm going to flip my fucking shit. Ah, I see. So the ice isn't formed up yet. Oh my gosh. Can people please leave me alone for five seconds? All right. Um, let's take this pepper mill and then try and find ourselves some health because my gosh, we got our butts absolutely handed to us. Oh my god, that was a bomber? Are you serious? <laughs> Wow, we are not having great luck so far. We're actually one death away from like permanent death and we've been on this for five minutes. That was a very <laughs> rough start, but we don't need health anymore at least. <laughs> what a joke. Put it in me, Charlie. Put what in you, the code? I don't know what the code is. Queen of Riddles. What is this? Black Reef boasts a bountiful feast for the census. Which transcendent work towers above the island's myriad other artistic pursuits? The dead buildings that rise from the sodden ground? Um, Alexis Dorsey's gastronomical installation? Aeon program official signage? Your own mask? Black Reef's cliffs and canyons? The forever drunk graffito? The nose, chin, and eyes of Charlie Montague? Or the oral art of Gideon Fry? Um... Um, so what is hanging above us? I thought that it was, uh, if I'm honest, I thought it was the big, like, Aeon program thing itself, but I guess that's not what it's after, answer-wise. Um, okay, well, in that case, Holoquin, Charlie Montague's. What is this thing? It needs a battery. You give some, you get some. There's an automaton around here that trades in items. Why would a robot... You know what? Never mind. Yeah, better not to ask questions, honestly. Um, what happens if I get the answer wrong? We can just try brute forcing it, maybe? Before Aeon's arrival, Black Reef slept in frozen utero, awaiting new purpose, who then made landfall, reawakening her from slumber. A foundering merchant vessel, Colt Vaughn and Igor Serling on a voyage of discovery, I know it's actually that one. A carrier pigeon from the mainland, the foremost maritime painter of the century, a military expedition, three escaped convicts in a homemade submarine, a dowser in the employ of Harriet Morse, or agents of the government of the motherland. Okay, this one I know to be too. Carl's Bay has worn many faces, Mo most as lost to time as the mysterious Carl himself. What was its most recent incarnation prior to Aeon's arrival? An open-air fish market, the headquarters of a shipping conglomerate, a military airbase, an empty coastline bereft of human influence, a bustling seaport, residential facilities for visiting tourists, the site of an archaeological dig, or a weather station. I think a military airbase. Yeah. Because... Um, there's lots of, like, bunkers and stuff that we've seen, so it would make sense that there would be a military base here. Decades ago, warmongers toyed with the temporal tides adding about Black Reef. Their sigil marked temples stand still. What named their doomed enterprise? The 53rd Scientific Research Division, Time Task Force, Operation Horizon, the Recourse Initiative, Project Threshold, the Black Reef Restoration Project, Temp Ops, or whatever the heck that is. I feel like I've heard Operation Horizon and Project Threshold before. I'm going to try Threshold. Okay, so probably Horizon. The bay, the rock, and labyrinthine updom wear Aeon colors proudly, but that decor belies their history. From whence came the peculiar names that grace them. Aeon derived them from military code names. Eternalists participated in a naming lottery prior to first day. 
Dr. Weinja Evans selected them from a moldering tome of erotic poetry. They were written in blood on the walls when Eon arrived. They date back to a lost fishing colony. They reference Ramblin' Frank Spicer's discography. They celebrate the heroes of the war, or only the year of a nose. Um... I don't know. Well, one? No. Harriet Morris is the gatekeeper. Black Reef the gate. A veil hangs across the threshold. What do we discover when it parts? A place of pleasure, a place of pain, the kingdom of a thousand crystal palaces, the great beyond, wisps of smoke and broken things, the inverted plane, this very room, or our own reflection. I guess a place of pleasure. Everybody thinks that's what this is. Nope. I'm not doing good. From what seed did Eon spring? Ramblin' Frank Spicer's touring fan club, the Ian Aeonics, the Experimental Delivery Office of Zabrowski Logistics, an expansion to Condition Detachment, a Charlie Montague game, documents concerning the defunct Aeon Initiative uncovered by Juliana Blake, an ancient prophecy of the end of days, the shared ambitions of Harriet Morse, Igor Serling, and Dr. Winja Evans, a corporate retreat for promising young executives, or Alexis Dorsey's virtuosic and improvisational harmonies. Um, I would say probably six. Okay, got that one right. The wriggling, riling energies of the loop have been harnessed to gift us with abilities beyond our biological potential. What birthed our trinkets and slabs? The tide washed them upon the shores of Black Reef. Juliana Blake unearthed them from abandoned military laboratories. The Montague Recreational Research and Development Division developed them in utmost secrecy. They were carved from the bones of the first person to enter the anomaly. Fia Sabrowski painted their schema in her sleep. Igor Serling discovered them scattered at the base of the stabilizer. Dr. Weinja Evans personally engineered each one, or they sprouted from soil wadded with eternalist blood. Didn't they... I thought they said, like, the trinkets were, like, bleed effects from different timelines. Didn't they explain it like that? Um, I don't know, I guess three? No. Aeon graces this island as kaleidoscopic jewels upon the neck of the world's greatest beauty. What seeks the program? Pirate treasure troves, rare botanical specimens for scientific study, the advancement of human potentiality and enlightenment, shelter from persecution, a pathway to the stars, the formula for the ultimate party, kaleidoscopic jewels, or the answer to philosophy's most profound questions. Um, number three? Sink your toes into the dark earth and let the vibrations of her voice course through your bones. From whence did this island derive her name? Lady Tabitha Black Reef Explorer, an ancient cave carving, an abundance of coal deposits, a fishbone keef original shanty, Igor Serling's favorite color, the isle's role in the tobacco trade, the heart of bad luck Mary, or coastal coral formations. Uh, I'm guessing one. Nope. Well, we did not do good. Oh, there's something in there. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, so I failed this, um, but I can try again later, I suppose. Um, okay, we need to make it all the way to Hangar 2. Gosh, like, I really got beaten up. I've already lost two of my lives does not make you feel good, if I'm honest. Anybody down here? Let's just try and be sneaky if we can. Also, I think I forgot to equip my uh, double jump, Don't need it. which is unfortunate. Um, Fathoms of Lament. What on earth is going on here? Okay. Um, crude weapon trinket. Send that to our arsenal. Can I hack these now that I think about it? Oh, you can disarm them. If you get close enough. Well, good to know. Ow. Oh god, I, I don't want to die right here if I'm honest. <laughs> But it's looking more and more likely. Um, 
Da not having the double jump makes things a bit more difficult. Um, Nothing to notice here, sir. Okay. So, we are going to not get spotted. I wish I had the blink ability, so that way I could get around. I'm apparently partaking in the day of chaos, so says she. Dickweeds, where's the wheel for my frickin' crank? I was supposed to have it yesterday. If I don't got it by sundown, I'm gonna open these gates with your guts. Seems someone got cranky that their delivery was delayed. What? Okay, I don't think anybody else noticed. Hopefully. In which case... Let us absorb up some more residium. Sneak on down here. Okay, we're almost at hangar two. We just need to get by without being spotted. Oh, and of course, this person turned around right at the last second. Let's collect up this residium. Okay, real quick, let's take out this lady. I saw a note on that door that I want to go back and check, but... I want her gone first, so that way she doesn't randomly turn around and try to take us out. Hey, Dipstick. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Keep your grubby fucking fingers off this crate. This thing's stuffed to the rivets with Otto's spiciest Uptum merch, and Frank says anybody who screws with it before tonight eats the fireworks inside for the next 50 loops. So shove off, hugs and kisses, Elena. Frank filled a container in Carl's Bay with fireworks. Handle with care. So I'm guessing you could, like, sabotage the fireworks, maybe, and blow up Frank? I don't know how much... If you've ever played Hitman before, there's like different options of how you can assassinate people. I don't know if it's similar to that in that I can be like very hands-off with how I assassinate people or not. I, I don't know yet. Did you know the military claimed Black Reef as part of Operation Horizon, a classified research expedition? You may work in a Horizon constructed installation or hangar every day. Okay, so it was Operation Horizon for that answer. Don't get greedy, Colt. Well, we have that answer for next time. Um, gosh, I really wish I had remembered to uh, do the actual double jump. Take out one of them, and then take out this person, and hopefully nobody heard that. Yeah, somehow nobody heard that, even though they were firing, you know, a machine pistol literally right down here. But nobody heard it. Okay, so I need to get to hangar 2. Okay, sneaky, sneaky, take out this person. And then here's hangar two right here. We're gonna sneak up on this person and take them out. Quiet as we please. I just can't risk being loud right now because we only have one life. Okay, how do we get in here? Climb up the airplane wing to a locked door. Hmm. Um, how do you get in here, actually? Because there was no back door. Let me 
run around here again. Maybe I missed something. Was there a door back here that I didn't notice? No, there's no door. That much is for sure. Um, what is this? Is half ass cool. half ass church. Two is your lucky number. Okay, good to know. Two is my lucky number. Tag up these folks. There are a lot of people in there. Little concerning. Okay. Does this actually lead to anything either? No. Oh crap. Okay, well luckily that didn't kill me. Um, but how do I get around this? <laughs> Doing some hardcore parkour trying not to die here. I, I genuinely don't know how you would get in there. Um, that's the only door and it's locked remotely. Oh wait, duh, I was literally looking at the connection right there and didn't make the connection that you could get through that way. Alright, well in that case, we need to sneak through here. I'm feeling just fine. Ambush? Oh crap. Why did you have to turn around last second? Okay, is that everyone in here? Alright, we're good. They like explode into paint, <laughs> um, which is interesting. I've never seen anything quite like that before. Alright, um, anywhere hiding any secrets? There's a locked door here. Oh crap. Um, there's also a blood. hole in the ground. Okay, we don't know the code to this door. Alright, well in that case, let us search up here real quick. Colt go boom. So we have a, uh, that's a battery charge station. So if we need any batteries, we know that we can charge them here. I don't actually see any batteries. And we haven't seen anything that needs a battery charge yet, as far as I'm aware. Okay, well then let us get up there. Gotta go around the long way, it would appear. Why here, Harriet? I don't know. Maybe she just felt like dying in a hangar. I'm not one to judge, I am merely one to take her life. Got something to prove? Invite everyone to your shindig, you'll still be alone. Maybe don't go loud. I mean, I will try not to, but no promises. Just in time for the show. Yes. Scour Harriet's office. Okay. Of course, it is locked remotely again. Letting loose your darkest impulses. If you don't, you will 
Okay, um, interesting to say the least. Um, well, we will let them all return to their uh, posts. A mindful recovery. Seekers, the proceedings of this morning's ceremony are not to be disrupted. Therefore, kindly abnegate any improvisatory impulse to cross over to the side of the hangar. I shall allow only the person who has retrieved Frank's discarded slab from the garbage facility to enter my sanctum, Harriet. Harriet sent someone to, recover his fr to recover Frank's slab. Frank threw away his slab, and it has made its way to the garbage disposal facility in Carl's Bay. Why would you throw away your slab? That's, um... A bold move, to say the least. Alright, um, let us try. I'm gonna reload. We're gonna start taking out- Oh, why did it pull me up randomly? Because they shouldn't be able to reach me up here, so I'm gonna slowly take them all out one by one. And then hopefully that will... Oh dang, I did not mean to blow that up. Ow. Oh wow, okay, there is a lot of them over there. Why did I just randomly blow up? Alright, well Black Reef has looped yet again. We learned a little bit. Um, not really sure why I died there. That was kind of random. Maybe somebody had... An RPG or something because I didn't see any grenades two explosions took me down and an eternalist gunned me down that that did not go very smoothly I'm gonna be completely honest Ooh, rip my frames for a second there um, okay we had some more discoveries it is morning time Hmm, maybe... I don't know, this is all evening stuff. This one is morning. But we could do some arsenal leads, see if we could get a better weapon. Harriet's Nexus Lab, that's what I was going towards. Um, nothing is really morning time outside of freeing the helps. I could try this, I guess. Um... Or let's try checking out the power station. Okay, and while I'm here, if I can redirect the HALPS laser to the battery station, it may blast itself free. So, let's give this a shot. It's all trial and error. There's going to be a lot of dying. Um, I, I still don't know why I died there that last time, but that is A-OK. -okay. We will make it work. I see now why they said maybe don't go loud because they got a bunch of reinforcements. I don't know where they all came from, but they all just slammed into uh, Harriet's office and started attacking me. I thought that I could slowly take Jules. everybody out. Jules? Yuck. Yeah, not a huge fan of that one either. Good. Don't call me Julie. All right. Um, I forgot to double equip. Or double equip. Equip the double jump again. Mistakes were made, but that is A-OK. -okay. Let us figure out. Listen up, Eternalist, and this is your visionary, Igor Serling, with an important announcement. Stay your asses away from my area of the complex. Pivotal experiments are in progress, and I will rely on interruption. Do not enter. Thanks, Igor. 
Dear Associates, once the loop is established, the team can shift its attentions to other pursuits. Foremost among these is accessing the Operation Horizon Generator facility before, below the loop control center. As it is housed beneath some extremely sensitive equipment, demolitions are not an option. I repeat, do not attempt to blast the power station door open with explosives. You have been allocated a variety of tools. Use them. I expect this to be your highest priority. Those doors should be open by sunrise. Regards, Dr. Weinja. Winja wants the power station at the complex opened up this morning or else. Don't need it. All right. Let's just be sneaky, sneaky. No reason to go super loud. Gosh, everything is locked remotely here. It does make um, travel a little difficult. Also, real quick, apologies. I just want to see visuals, field of view. I, I can't really tell if I want to crank that up. Let's try 100, see if that makes a difference. Okay, there we go. I can actually see a bit more now. It was very cramped before, and I know it's saying anything above 80 could cause problems, but I don't really care. Ooh, I'm good. Also, for some reason, I kept my residium even though I died. I don't know what that's about. I thought that you lost it whenever you died. <laughs> no, it was not Colt. Don't worry, man. Well, that was weird. Alright, that guy's down. Insider access. We already read that. Attached to a very prestigious experimental weapons lab, you know. It will remain unnamed. And when she? Dr. Evans wasn't known to us. Now she's got this card on for some bulk head door in the That's why we're here. Uh, fucking door. It is the door. No one. I mean, no one knows what's going on. No. Come on, push. Not pushing hard enough. <laughs> Okay then, um, let us go ahead and pick this up. I'm going to see if I can cause a distraction, get one of them to come over. Uh, okay, so, uh, back to it. Alright, got this guy hacked up. Let's take out this one. Nothing to see here. Not on black to waste time. There we go. Taking them out. <laughs> well, they're making it very clear about the insider access that they want that to be read. Um makes me wonder, if I kill these people, will they not manage to get the door open because obviously they're not going to be around? That would be my assumption. Let us deploy this. Nothing to see here, sir. Gosh, this person is patrolling really weird. They. Who walks like this? Why are you turning around left and right? There we go. Okay, so... Power station is back here. Okay, this door wasn't open originally. So this is new. 
I'm feeling just fine. Dear Eternalists, one door opens, another remains closed. Based on the Horizon documentation, you should be able to reactivate and access the adjoining station by restoring no fewer than two of the generators below. So do that. Regards, Dr. Weinja. Send power to the complex. Um, sure. Control the flow, run the show. Dead and dry. There is a lot of folks down there. Okay. Um, anything else to grab? No, it doesn't look like it. Careful now. Does this look broken to you? It it doesn't look broken yes, to me. I read the Don't get greedy, Colt. Okay, there's a battery here. I need a battery for a generator? You haven't read the fucking manual. A power generator that needs power to generate. Unbelievable. Okay, so these will require batteries, in which case, I know there's one back there, so we can grab that in a little bit. I want to secure this area first, or as best as I can at least. Be a bit quicker, Colt. They are heading this way. You, uh, busy later? Figured we might, you know, wanna meet up? No, I'm looking for it too. Just like that time in... Okay. Shit. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh my gosh, Colt. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I know we want to take him down, but wow. That was, um... First off, that was smooth. Um... I I'm pretty sure just chopping through a head like that, it, uh, it's a bit more difficult than you might think. Okay, so... Let us figure out. There's those three over there. If I take out the scout first, Already then I can go loud. Because the rest of them will... They can't call reinforcements. Alright, let's just... there we go. Okay, everyone's dead in here. Area is secured. So, let's figure out this power sitch. First off, let's get some power via Residium. I saw both of these while we were coming down. Okay, so, batteries. How many batteries do we need? We need a battery here. What does this say? Put in battery, press button, wait a while, it'll eject the battery. Okay, um, same deal over here. So, is there like only one battery and we need to reuse it or something? Well, in that case, let's climb back up miss our jump. I definitely intended to do that. Um, <laughs> okay. Get up here. Ah, oh, gosh. I wish I had remembered the double jump. That would have been handy. I also wish that I would stop bumping my head right there. Okay. Make the jump, Colt. I believe in you. <sighs> okay. This is not going how I had it planned. Let us scoot over just a bit. There we go. Ooh, so that's a blue spiker. Um, let's pick that up and maybe we can infuse that later. I know I can infuse like regular stuff, but I don't really want to infuse weapons if they're not at the very least blue. Um, just so that way they, you know, kind of more bang for my buck if I'm going to be infusing it. Is there a battery charger around here? What is this showing? Doors across the place that can be opened up, I'm guessing? What 
what is this dial about? Okay, um, let us run this downstairs. I don't know why I was tripping over myself to go when there was literally a door right there, but. Okay, so this guy is good. Now I need to recharge the battery. I don't really know how to do that, but let's try sending power to the complex. Guess that didn't do the trick. Alright, we need more power then. Um, I know there's a battery charger somewhere because there was that battery puzzle um, for the SMG gun thing. The Strelak Verso or whatever it was called. Um, where was that? It was like over here somewhere, I believe. Any battery chargers? I... I am trying to remember off the top of my head, but I think it was... Are you kidding me? Okay, let's try and sneak away all sneaky-like. Hopefully they will not notice us right here. Nothing to see here, just a fizz pop machine. Oh crap, okay. Oh, and my gun was loaded, very good. And I missed. I'm about to die. Oh my god, what is my accuracy? <laughs> oh, that was bad. I lost all my residium. Okay, let's try that again and not suck this time. Would be my suggestion at the very least. Okay, they know I am down here, so hopefully I can get this turret to help take them out. Actually, what am I talking about? I can literally take this. Oh well. Okay, that guy's taken out. Now that they don't technically know where we are, let us deploy this turret and hopefully it can provide some covering fire while we do all this. Would be my hope at the very least. Alright, if they step in that path, they're gonna get messed up. And now, where the heck was... It was like up in that control room, the battery charger. I think I might have to climb up this way. Let's absorb up all of our residium. Alright, and let us see. I believe it was up these stairs in this like control room looking area. Oh, but it's locked this time. I swear this was unlocked last time I was here. Maybe it's a certain time of day thing, in which case that would kind of suck. I did not mean to drop that. That could have exploded. Yeah, all these folks out here, but I don't know. Um... Not having the best luck, that is for sure. 
it might be the time of day because I'm pretty sure this door was open unless I'm getting turned around but that was like the door where the nice SMG pistols were let us absorb up some residium Yeah, and this just leads outside also. Hmm. I am all sorts of turned around. It all looks the exact same, so it's difficult to tell what's what. Yeah, and this is all cleaned up, so I do not know. Well, what else did we have going on in this area? We had, we can go for the helps thing. The power won't flow without two, not one, but two generators running. All right, well, for the time being, let us drop this battery just to be safe. We're gonna put it right next to our turret here so we remember where it is. And then the helps prototype was with Dr. Weenja. That missed, really? I need like an actual like sniper rifle, like give me a scope sort of thing. Alright, let's back her up. Are they gonna follow me in here? Hopefully. Ah! Alright, I think that was everyone. And her lab is over this way. Okay. Both of these folks down. See a trinket. Alright, here is her lab. We are not gonna miss these jumps. I believe in us. We're gonna do great. Oh, dang, we should. Get this all hacked up. Alright, I don't think anybody else will have heard that it doesn't look like nobody is home right now, which is a good thing. So now, let's get all this hacked up. Twice the tug, twice the fun. Okay, so I know this will fire at that, but it says to get this to point at the battery supply. I don't know how to actually make it do that. Um... I don't know, I'm wondering if maybe I can... Oh, this door is completely blocked up now that we don't have access to our lab. That implies that they moved all of that junk just to open up that door later. If I destroy this, does it go through the wall? No, it does not. Well, it ain't that good of a laser then. <laughs> How do you get this? Um, 
says destroy its battery supply to get it, but I don't know how you would do that. Grenades don't destroy the supply. I don't know. I'm very confused. Um, I need to do some research on some stuff and see if I can't figure stuff out. Can I, I wonder, if I take this crank wheel, can I, um, infuse it? This takes us back to the power station where we've already been before. Or not, th not the power station here, um, this takes us back to, uh, the loop control center, that's right. Yeah. Battery station. Ooh, okay. Um, let's drop this temporarily. Pick up battery. Okay, this is good. Wow, it was that close? I literally went in a full loop and didn't realize that the battery station was right up there. All right, Colt, don't break your legs here. Um, let us plug this in. Start her up. If I throw this in, can I put in more power? No. Okay. Just thought it might be worth a shot. Let's take this battery back upstairs. Just in case we need it for whatever reason. We'll throw it down there. And now, if I... Uh, let's re-get the quest. Okay, send power to the complex. Okay, it wants me to check out Tidevarv Station. Alright, what we got in here? Quarantined. Just a little prick to so help I'm you really sleep. the only one saying these. How'd I get so lucky? Necessary evils, and I have Why no me? clue, Colt. Why do I get these messages from wherever or whenever? They never cared. It wasn't about us. Um, I mean, you don't know that other people don't get them. Uh, Juliana talked about all their fault. Juliana talked about how she's not the only person, or how we're not the only person to have other versions of themselves running around, which means that there's other Julianas. Whispers, always whispers. Eye of the Storm. All that matters. MG Peppermill. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, don't mind if I do. Roger, 
I flew that rocket. That explains so much. <laughs> Does it though? Pilot survival projections. Possibility of time di dilation extremely high. Precise effect unknown. Days could stretch to centuries or vice versa. Assume survival of initial contact with anomaly. Pilot provisions limited to ex emergency rations lasting a maximum of one week. Assumes continued cognitive function. Pilot has been missing now for seven weeks. Presumed dead. Assumes linear experience of time. All right. And then what was on this? Strictly confidential. To Lieutenant Natalie Sobel, Second Science Officer, from Major V. Raznik, Chief Security Officer. These names are very uh, Russian. Are we, are we comrades? They're, we keep saying we're doing stuff for the motherland and all that, so wondering if uh, we're secretly Russian. Given the loss of our experimental assets, the captain included during the anomaly incident, Head Science Officer Pishtek has been relieved of her duties. They now fall to you. These responsibilities require you to be entrusted with multiple pass keys, including the one for the generator station's primary power governor. The required document is in the Horizon Archival Office near the gate in Upton. It will be shelved in Bookcase 1 in the restricted document storage. Be prepared to show proof of identification. The military has put significant faith in your abilities and trust in your discretion, Dr. Sobel. Do not disappoint. Primary power governor. Sounds like that could really ruin Julian day. <laughs> Let's go show some identification. All right. Um, what was that saying? Um, this is all stuff from the last place, Carl's Bay. Um, go watch me go. Okay, um, well in that case, let us get out of here and try not to die because I want to keep this purple gun. The pepper mill is a very good gun. Um, I, I enjoy using it. Alright, sneaky sneaky. We will just sneak on by all of these folks. All right, and we've already secured that way. Um, we'll just head this way because why not? Maybe we'll get some more residium or something along the way. Or maybe some trinkets from their bodies. Who knows? Um, I see some residium over there. Do I see anybody who could be an issue, though, is the real question. There's these two, but I don't think they'll actually be a problem. Come on, Colt. There you go. Absorb up all that juice. Okay, I need this guy to turn around and not keep drunkenly spinning around in circles okay um i think this is about to go bad so let's take them out before they can take us out there we go i believe that to be everyone Okay, and we can get on out of here. Barring anyone jumping in our way or something. Party at the end of the world. Alright, let us get out of here. Yeah, let's blow this joint. We slipped away into the tunnels. Very good. Okay. Um, well, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and round out the episode. Um, 
I know we didn't get a whole lot done today. Uh, it was kind of just a lot of wandering around. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it might be a bit of that until I get my bearings a bit better. But we managed to figure out more about this Tidevarv station, um, more about Colt, and we can look into that more next time. Plus, we got these two nice guns that we're going to hold on to for now. Um, and we apparently got this trinket. All right, moving forward to noon. Fantastic. Please unequip. There you go. All right, everyone. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time for some more Deathloop. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.